how can health system pharmacists help mitigate medication errors that commonly occur at discharge and during care transition? Yeah, of course we have, um, you know, the medication reconciliation that hospitals are involved with because of joint commissions uh, push to get that done. And this is very important, uh, not only on discharge, obviously, but when we bring a patient into the hospital through the ER or on admission, they have a drug history performed, but are they really taking these drugs? What other drugs are they taking? OTCs, nutritionals, et cetera, et cetera. You need to confirm all this, and that takes some follow-up work, contacting pharmacies, other health professionals to get that list done accurately. And that goes all the way through transitions, um, all the way through discharge. And giving a patient an information sheet about the drugs that they're on and what they're for, the indications is very important too. One thing I'd love to see pharmacists get involved with more because some of these drugs that they take home with them, they're potentially dangerous. And uh, they don't always know how to use them safely, um, how to apply them, topicals, uh, you know, how to discard them. And so we've had horrible things happen. Um, a pain patch, for example, containing a very potent opioid fentanyl. Um, you know, mom was in the hospital. She uh, unfortunately has a chronic condition with chronic pain. They place her appropriately on a pain patch. Uh, she goes home. Uh, she has small children. And she takes the patch off to replace it and throws it in the trash. So the kids go into the trash and mom has this Band-Aid on her, I'll put a Band-Aid on me. And there's residual fentanyl in it. And horrible, horrible, you could cry, the kid is found dead. These are real cases, I don't make these up. Um, and they're not that uncommon, you know, and uh, not that same type necessarily, but, uh, but other tragedies. So even getting involved, not just with educating about the drug, but educating them about how to use that medication, use it safely. And furthermore, we need to get involved with follow-up calls to the patient with complicated therapies. I don't think we do that enough. Calling them, how are they doing? How are you using that medication? Um, have you had any side effects or adverse reactions? These are things that you could do that would absolutely increase safety, yet it's very rare that uh, the pharmacy uh, department gets into that. So we would definitely like to see more of that. And sometimes the nursing uh, folks will do that. But uh, I think a pharmacist with drug therapy would be the right people, and we're not, we're not uh, investing enough in resources to do that.